Lucas Media. So Bronny has been officially cleared to play. LeBron said that he would miss uh, his game for his son's debut. And my bad, y'all can hear my audio, but let me break that down. So Bronny has officially been cleared to play. We know he had that health scare um, back over the summertime. And LeBron was did an interview, post-game interview, and he was asked about his son. And he said that he already informed his teammates in the Laker organization that he will miss the game if they play on the same night. And, you know, some people, he's been getting a lot of flack for that. And I see Stephen A. Smith talk about it on his podcast, and he, he sided with LeBron. And I have to agree. His, his son just went through – fell into cardiac arrest, first of all. I mean, I don't know if you guys really know about that, but that's, that's something serious, right? And then for him to go through all of that, to be able to play – and it's not like this LeBron first year, right? This is 21st season. And he's in that veterans guidelines or whatever to where he can miss a game. It's okay if he misses one game. If it was a playoff game or the playoff was on the line, I would have a problem with it. But he missed one game. I don't know. They play the Pacers or the Sixers. It's not going to hurt. LeBron, wow, he gets a lot of heat, and a lot of us deserve, right? There's a lot of stuff that that he does that I don't agree with. Like, it's almost impossible to to critique him. But one thing that I will say is it always appears that he's always been there for his kids. He was there when Bronny and Bryce was coming up. I don't know if I remember in middle school, they was doing layups, and he got so inspired that he started dunking or whatever during their layups. And I and so for him to be there for his son on his first game to support him, I don't see a problem with that. And when I like I said, the people who can't understand that, I just don't know. I mean, maybe maybe they don't have kids or, or what, but you gotta be able to understand that a father is gonna be there for a son, especially in a situation like this. Now, again, if the playoffs is on the line, then, I, yeah, we got a problem with that. But it's early in the season. Ain't they playing for that NBA Cup or whatever, right, the the, the in-season tournament? And don't nobody care. <laughs> Especially when people be missing games for, uh, quote-unquote, mental health issues and they back hurt, they foot hurt, and all type of other stuff. So it's okay for him to miss one game. Now, I am looking forward to seeing Bronny play as everybody. He has been getting a lot of hate over the last couple of years. Some people think he's going to make the NBA. Some people think he don't. I think that he does have a chance. Now, do I think he'll come out this year? No. But he might surprise me. And uh, Bronny got a lot of flack for playing in the McDonald's game. And true. I'm sure there was people like Caleb Foster who should have been McDonald's All-American. However, I mean, LeBron, Bronny fit right in w- with the group. And he's a top 100 player, so, and they have four-star players play all the time. So well, I, what I'm saying all that it is, I think that he does have still a shot to play in the NBA. And if Mikey Williams is able to play this season, I think he has a chance to play in the NBA at some point. They just got to work hard, you know, work on their craft. But yeah, man, stop, stop killing Bron. Oh, LeBron, man, to go to his son. That's his son, man. That's his son. <laughs> it's okay for him to miss one game. It's not gonna be the end of the world. They play eighty something games a season anyway. You know. So I just want to get my two cents on, on on this part. Tell me what y'all think about it in the comments. Whether whether or not you agree or disagree with him playing. I mean, uh, going to the game.